First Democrat in Congress to call for Senator Feinstein to step down, Congressman Ro Khanna. He is supporting Congresswoman Barbara Lee in the 2024 Senate race for Feinstein's seat, as she has already said she will not run again. So, Congressman, do you think Senate Democrats were in denial, frankly, to ever think that Republicans would help them temporarily replace Senator Feinstein on the Judiciary Committee when that means that all of a sudden you'd get, you know, these dozen Biden judicial nominees uh, immediately passed? You know, I was hopeful when Senator Feinstein suggested that, but I was very skeptical that Senate Republicans would go along. Uh, let's understand the stakes here. You've got a Texas judge who's taking the abortion pill away from millions of women and relying on junk science. You have Donald Trump who has stacked the judiciary with people who don't have a regard for the rule of law. And President Biden has done an extraordinary job nominating judges, getting more judges confirmed than many of his predecessors. And it's being slowed down on the Judiciary Committee. It's honestly nothing personal. We just need someone there who can break the votes. Right. And uh, as we pointed out, you've got at least a dozen, um, 12 judicial nominees and 60 votes have been missed. Right. I mean, that, these are the real world implications of what's happening here. Now, here's the thing, Congressman, you've come out and you've said what you think needs to be done. You haven't minced words. Many of your colleagues uh, have have not done that. They have gotten behind Senator Feinstein. They've said that she does not need to step aside uh, and she shouldn't face calls to resign. Here are a few of them. In America, we don't tell people to resign because they got shingles. She was elected. She served admirably. His other members have been gone for a year or more mm -hmm. at times. Yeah. And no one called for the resignation. The senators should be able to make their own judgments about when they're retiring and when they're not. Diane will get better. She will come back to work. The decision about whether somebody should resign rests on that individual themselves. I don't think she should be forced out. What do you say to them? Well, I have a lot of respect for Senator Manchin, but his saying that there have been senators who have been out for a year and they aren't being called upon to resign shows exactly what's wrong in the institution. I don't know any other job where you cannot show up for a year and expect to hold your job. And the reality here is this is something people have known about Senator Feinstein for about over a year. It's not just the shingles. Uh, the, the situation is, is, is not a great one, and I hope she'll do the dignified thing and, and step aside and have someone else, the governor can appoint a caretaker so we can get our judges confirmed. And uh, when you say that it's, it's not just singles, are you referring to anything specifically? Well, I don't want to be speculating. People can uh, read the public reporting. But what I do know uh, is that uh, she hasn't been able to fulfill her duty. A lot of people are speaking privately about why that's not the case. And it's time that we have deference to the American people more than deference to a senator. I mean, I get how Washington works. You're not supposed to speak up on these things. You just keep your head down. You keep rising. You eventually become a committee chair in the cabinet. No one wants to make enemies of powerful people. Senator Feinstein is powerful. She has a lot of allies. But at some point, we have to ask, what does the urgent moment call for? You can't go around giving speeches saying uh, abortion, uh, it needs to be legal, that they're taking away all of women's rights and be passionate about that, and then not speak out on something we actually can do, which is confirm judges. Right. And those judges, as you mentioned, right, 12 of them uh, not moving ahead uh, because of this. Congressman, thanks very much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Erin.